Hello everyone, this is Dr. O. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a frequency table and a bar chart using R. So, you see on the screen a dataset. This is a survey conducted by a university, and the survey was distributed to students, faculty, and staff members in order to learn the patterns of their daily commute. So, one of the questions asked in the survey during a typical school week, how do you commute from home to school? And you can see the possible answers on the Excel file, public transit, bicycle, drive alone, walk, and other. So now we are going to use this data set and create a frequency table and a bar chart in R. So on the screen, you see the R Studio. And the first thing we need to do is import the data. But to import the data, we first need to set the directory. And you click on session and then choose set working directory and choose a directory. Then I'm going to choose the file that has the videos and the data in it. So as you see here, my directory is our videos and click open. And now under the files, you can see that there is transit underscore survey CSV data. I always save my files as CSV because it's easier to read CSV files using R. Here we need to create a data frame and call it my data. You can either use equal sign or this sign to assign the data set to data frame my data. I prefer an equal sign. My data equals read that CSV is the function to read a CSV file and open the parentheses in quotation marks transit survey dot CSV. And then control enter is going to read the data. And now we have a here under data pane, my data. Click on that and you will see that now we have the data set from Excel CSV file mode of transportation and we have 600 observations. Next we are going to create a frequency table and we use the table function. But let's first frequency table. And let's assign an object which is called frequency, equal sign, and then use table. And here in the parentheses, we refer to our data frame, my data, but my data might have several variables, but we are referring to the mode of transportation. To refer a one column or one variable in a data set or in a data frame, you use a dollar sign. And then Type the variable name. In this case, it's mod.of.transportation. And then control enter is going to create the object called frequency. In order to view this value, we are going to use view function. And view function it starts with a capital V. So make sure that you know R is case sensitive. View in the parentheses, we type the value, which is frequency. And then again, control enter. Now you can be able to see the frequencies. The only difference between Excel and this one might be the ordering. Here, the variables are arranged in alphabetical order. Bicycle, 111. Drive alone, 57. Other, 18. Public transit, 273. And walk, 141. And we go back to our R script. And now, next, we will do a bar chart. And again, here, let's explain what we are doing. Remember, we use hashtag to explain what we are doing in coding stage. Now we are creating a bar chart. And to create a bar chart, we will use bar plots function. You can learn more about bar plot function here too. We have a search section. You can go to the help and then search section and type bar plot and then enter. You can see how bar float function is used in R. So we have several components. First of all, we want to get a bar plot of frequency. So we type frequency first. And then main is going to give a title to the bar chart. Main is equal to in quotation mark bar chart for transit survey. And then next comma. Please do not forget the commas. And then xlab equals number of respondents in quotation mark provides a title for the x-axis 
And next, we want an horizontal bar chart. That's why we will use horiz is equal to true. And then comma, color, we prefer blue. For that reason, we type call, blue in quotation mark. And then comma, xlim is equal to C is going to extend the horizontal axis units from 0 to 300. And then comma. And we have LAS is equal to 1 to display category names perpendicular to the y-axis. And then we have CEX.names is equal to 0.5, which reduce the font size of the category names so that they're not truncated. And that's the end. And finally, we will use AB line V is equal to 0 function to insert y-axis. And you select all of them together and then control enter. Now you see that here we have the bar chart for transit survey and walk public transit, other drive alone bicycle looks like very small. Let's make it font one and see how it looks like. So let's summarize our findings. The most common commuting mode at this urban university is public transit. Walking and riding a bicycle are the next most common commuting modes. And these results are not surprising for a university that's located in the city. So this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.